Hey, it's Alyssa from Virtual Heights Accounting. This is how to set up your financial settings in Zero. So I'm sharing my screen here. So you've already set up your organizational settings. You've maybe connected your bank account. What else do you have to do? Well, one important key uh, is to ensure you hop over, I should do that more slowly, Accounting Advanced. And then once you're in Accounting Advanced, you're going to hit Financial Settings. Okay, so uh, if you didn't do this on setup, you can change your year end here uh, to what it should be. Maybe it's actually August and you set it up incorrectly. Um, the other important thing to put is put your sales tax number here. So, you know, in Canada, this might be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, RT. 0001, that's your GST HST number. And so I'm going to put it in like that. Um, maybe I'm an annual filer. So I'll put annual filer, accrual basis. We always have accrual basis in, in Canada for our taxes here. Um, so we're going to take, take this setup and then you're going to click save. Um, I see down here it's as Eastern time. If you're on the East Coast, that's great. If you want to uh, change it to the West Coast, you can always change it to Pacific or, or Mountain or whatever, wherever you happen to be. Uh, the important thing here, though, is to uh, fill in that number, fill in that tax ID number and click save. Why is that important? Well, in Canada, as a GST registrant, you are required to have your GST number on any invoices over $100 is the technical rule. So um, we'd always just recommend you do it on any invoices. So uh, once you put it in here, you're gonna be able to add it to your invoice settings and make sure that it is showing up so that you're in compliance with that requirement. All right, and that's how to set up your financial settings. The only other thing I'll note here quick, um, you can access lock dates here. If your accountant has filed your year end, please, please make sure that you come in here and you have locked the prior year data. Um, and when we file, we do this on behalf of our clients, but if your accountant is not, is not a, a, a zero advisor and doesn't have access to your zero account, then uh, you will have to go in here yourself. Um, just make sure it's locked because you do not want that information to change once it's been filed. If there is something that needs to be changed, you'll have to contact your accountant and see uh, whether or not we can just adjust in the cur current period or, or what needs to be done there. Okay, um, normally if it's just a small missed expense or something like that, um, we would just record it in the current period, but uh, do talk to your advisor to get some professional advice, depending on what the size of it is. Tax defaults for sales. This is just on your invoices, what the tax defaults for sales taxes are going to be. Um, some people have their preferences. Uh, if you just put based on last sale, based on last purchase, it will figure out what your preference is based on what you do, and then it will record it uh, accordingly like that. But you could also change it to tell it you want it to be always inclusive, all ex always exclusive for, for what you're putting into the fields. Okay, so that is the financial settings in zero. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, you should also make sure you're all complete uh, after you set up your organizational settings, you got your financial settings here. Uh, make sure you've done your conversion balances as well. We'll cover that in another video. Uh, and then uh, as long as your banks are all connected, you, you're likely ready to, to start going. Um, actually, invoice settings as well is another, another one you'll want to make sure you get set up. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.